In June 2011, I set myself the task of trying to reduce my energy consumption and thus my electricity and gas bills by 50%. At a time when energy bills are rising, would it be possible? Was it insane? Could it be done? Well, these videos follow that journey throughout the year to find out whether I was able to achieve that or not. With energy prices rising around about 19% for gas and 14% for electricity, things were starting to look rather expensive. So I decided to take on the task of trying to reduce my energy bills by 50% within the year. So from June 2011 to June 2012, the challenge will be to see how much energy I can save and see if I can get my direct debit down to half the price it is currently standing. At the moment, my monthly payments are this. I'm going to try and reduce it to this. But it's not going to be easy. I mean, how on earth can I just cut out my gas and electric consumption by 50%? I know what you're thinking. Just, I don't know, go on holiday for six months. I wish I could afford it. Don't switch the lights on. How am I going to see? But there are practical ways. I mean, you know, we get told about switching things off and about being careful about what we're using. So it's with a real challenge about setting about trying to reduce, make that bill smaller so that I've got a little bit of money left because we're not getting pay rises, you know. So these are some of the ways that I aim to bring down the use of gas and electricity. It's amazing how little things like, or big things, like this flask can come in handy in saving electricity. Rather than putting a kettle on every time I want fancy a brew, and believe me, I like my coffee. Fill in a flask of hot water, keeps it hot for hours, saves boiling the kettle several times over. That's one little tip. Another little tip is rather than half filling the washing machine, I might have to fill it up to the full and do a proper wash. That way, save a little bit more electric. And how about instead of using my shower, we've got one at work. I'm going to go off to work and have a shower. If you're still watching this video, you're probably thinking that bloke with the weird beard is, well, a little bit crazy. Ah, uh, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. But either way, there's plenty of uh, electrical devices that we're forever plugging in and we use in our daily lives. Now, if I want to save on my electric bill, does that mean I'm not going to be able to plug them in? Of course I'm still going to plug them in, silly. So, if I'm going to plug them in, where will I plug them in? Well, I'm going to take them to work with me. My mobile phone. The iPod. And there's now like recharging your rechargeable batteries. And, well, perhaps I'll have to use this a little bit more. Me shaver. And what about on those cold winter nights when it's blinking, freezing and you ain't got the gas fire on? Well, put a hat on, get some gloves on. Buy yourself some thermal socks. Ooh, and keep proper warm. That'll save you a few bob. So, hello Dylan. So the first quarter of the year has passed. We've gone from sort of round about the 19th of June up until the 18th of September. And so they're, they're what I would class the first three easy months uh, of trying to save energy. And working out obviously on the average week of consumption, um, electricity so far managed to save 310 units in the um, first quarter and on the gas 358 um, units saved and so it's been really really good because 
Um, like I say, for the gas, 358 units saved. What I should have used if I was going on last year's energy consumption. This sounds boring. It was 383 units. Instead, I only used 16 units of gas in the three month period. But that's the easy period out of the way. I'm now entering, it's like I say, middle of September. Now entering into the harder period where I think the hat, the staying under the duvet, cuddling up to the cat, will have to come into force more. So join me again in another three months' time when we'll be um, right in the middle of winter. And will I survive or will I have to give in and put the heating on more and more? But so far, so good. We're ahead of target. Join me in another three months' time. Time for another update. It's halfway through the year. We're into December. And of course the temperatures have dropped from those lovely sunny days when we first started. And inside the house, some days it's actually colder inside this old house than it is outside. Um, currently it's around about 9, 10 degrees, which might not sound too bad, but when you're sat indoors in that cold, it's pretty cold. So the gas fire is going on more. Um, but so far, just checking my weekly figures, and so far, I've managed to save 585 units of gas and 549 units of electricity. So, I'm probably about 90% better off on my gas and almost 50% on my electric so far. But of course... Fingerless gloves are on, the hat's on, the jumper's on, but the question is, can I survive? Stay tuned.